Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to give you guys a walkthrough of DuckTales and going to go ahead and continue with the map of the African Mines. Seems a little racist to call them African Mines, maybe not. But uh, no, but if you guys uh, are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. But basically this game is badass. If you guys don't remember the original DuckTales, uh, I friggin' loved uh, the original DuckTales on Nintendo. I played the crap out of it. So this is a remastered version Xbox and it was $15 for those wondering it's kind of expensive but there's actually quite a few things that are pretty cool about this that um, gives you kind of that original feel now I don't remember everything about the original one because it's been so long I, I do know that the, the creatures and stuff are kind of the same and the hidden like gem spots are pretty much the same which I thought was really cool I love the fact that a Scrooge has the friggin pogo stick love using this thing um, and Anyway, I'm going to kind of just show you guys a walkthrough of this uh, this entire map and from beginning to end and some of the hidden spots that I found. Now, I might not get 100% of the hidden spots, but definitely some uh, spots to, uh, to note. Um, because if you guys didn't know that there's like hidden chests and then you can actually use the pogo and bounce over top of things and get into other areas, it's just pretty crazy. I remember as a kid, I just thought it was dope. There was just so many things. Now I'm cutting through the little cutscenes and stuff, so you guys, maybe not to spoil them for you guys, but uh, also to save on time because the, the levels are kind of long. Um, you can see right there, I ended up uh, getting the the M, and I'm basically it makes you invincible when you just run through. But I wanted to hit that and grab my gems, and then I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys and run through. But uh, but you have to go find a key right here, and then the key. Gives you access to the elevator shaft that lets you go down in the mines, and then you can go uh, explain a little bit further. Um, I love the fact that there's a background to the map as well, and I think that's kind of neat when you're playing through and you can see the backdrop. Um, and the other thing is this this uh, map is the third map that I ended up completing, but uh, you can probably walk through and see all of the maps and see which ones are the easiest to beat. Because here's a trick. Like, you only start with three hearts, and then every level you can get a heart container, and you can actually use the heart container, and it, it, it once you beat the level, it um, you take it with you, and then you can uh, use it for future, so you can say I have five. Now, right here, you can see I went through the wall, ended up grabbing the heart container for this level, so now I have six. It does fill up your life, and it's pretty nice that uh, you can use that. So, this is where the heart container is on this level, for those wondering, you just go uh, back through that side. Now, uh, so again, when you start, you start out with three. So uh, if you have a really hard map to try to beat, it really can be difficult if you try with like the hardest map and only try in one map to be able to beat it because um, you, if you have a hard time with it and you only have three things, if you die all of your lives, uh, unlike new games, you don't get to continue from where you were. You have to start back all the way from the beginning. That's part of the reason why I like Nintendo games back in the day. It was a lot more challenging because... Um, it wasn't as easy to uh, to go ahead and just keep playing and keep playing and then be beating him. I think one of the games that I remember um, changing the game for the way that the layouts like that were was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the arcade game, because you had the um, the arcade version, and then you can go ahead and you can just continue every single time through. There was no, I, I don't even think there was a limit to the continues, um, and you had multiple people to play, so it was just endless and then you can just go through and end up beating the game. It just took time and dedication. Um, back in the day, day, it took a lot more than time and dedication. It took skill. So it's kind of interesting to go back and play. Anyway, I'm just kind of working my way around through this uh, mine shaft here and showing you guys uh, the area. Uh, I planned on doing live comms through these, but honestly, it's been so long since I played some of the maps that I ended up dying quite a few times and it was just kind of a pain. Uh, this is one of those areas that it's just instinctive to just jump on those things and hit them with a pogo stick, but then you can't get the treasures, man, so you want to just go ahead and bop these guys right here. Hit them up, knock down your um, things. Unfortunately, I wasted that one, and luckily uh, it was okay because I ended up getting these guys right here. And I got a cake even though I didn't need it because I had full life. And, uh, oops, I missed that gem right there. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's always fun to try to collect as many gems as you can. And I was just hitting this pogo over here, thinking that I could jump over here, which you could, and so there's another little secret passage area. Uh, for those wondering, there's definitely a lot of secret little passage areas, and that's one thing I loved about this game. Um, Scrooge McDuck, dude. I mean, how can you go wrong? McD. Uh, and there, I, I love the supporting cast as well in this. The bot, the, the bots, the uh, the ending bosses and stuff. Pretty much true to original form. I really like that as well. Uh, if you 
see the game like there's a se extra section where you can actually buy some artwork and stuff and I believe after you beat the game get other special unlocks from the original series and stuff so pretty cool because you can actually see the um, original character from the 8-bit game from the original DuckTales and then see how they revamped the character and like it's just pretty neat to be able to see that they they stuck with what they had and they really did make it better and for those that don't agree I mean I guess that are watching this leave comments as to why uh, you don't think it it's good because I think that they really did stick to the original form but they added a lot of little extras in to make it um, all make sense I guess it'll make sense and be playable uh, this is one right here you definitely don't want to jump on the pogo stick and then jump across you want to jump up in the air and then then do the pogo bounce off of it because otherwise um, and then you just keep moving across the bottom area down here, bogoing your way to victory. And then I always hit that one on accident. If uh, a little tip for you guys that, that are watching this, if you um, don't hit, if you don't hit the item, or if let's say you hit an item off the screen, if you screen scroll to the left and then go back to the right, the item will be back there, like these little bricks that you end up having down here. So it gives you opportunity. The downside is when you screen scroll. Uh, if you don't hit the um, the chest, the chest will probably disappear. So kind of unfortunate. That's at least for the ones that uh, randomly pop up like that. But um, I'm just gonna keep working my way through this uh, this level here. And almost completed. And always hit the corners like that. You can see I ended up getting an excellent little ruby from doing that. Kind of nice. Um, because there's just a ton of hidden gems, dude. You can just get so many of them. Now, now you see those right there and you just know you have to run the beat and pass this boulder. This part's actually pretty easy and I'm actually playing this just on medium. I'm not playing it on easy. I'm not playing it on hard. I'm just playing it on medium. And it was hard actually. It felt like when you started out again. But once you get enough little hearts and stuff, it's not so bad uh, working your way through the game. So I'm just going to continue uh, rolling around down here. And you can see that I was trying to get up there and there's no point. And just uh, avoid trying to avoid these little plants, but they do hurt you. And as soon as they hurt you, just keep running because you kind of are flashing and that makes you invincible. You know what would be kind of interesting to see is, is an updated version of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers because obviously that was an awesome game too. Uh, I love playing that because that one was like a step above, I guess, or not not necessarily a step above. I mean, it's Chip and Dale, and the Rescue Rangers were on, and I loved the TV show when I was a kid. But uh, it was two player; you could play Chip and Dale with two people and DuckTales is only a solo game so uh, it was fun but uh, like Chip and Dale I could play with my brother and stuff uh, it was pretty awesome anyway this is the boss kind of fight and this is like the last part of the, the game coming up here uh, or this uh, not game the, this map so um, if you guys are, are interested in seeing the rest of the DuckTales um, walkthrough check the playlist in the description and you can uh, watch all of the other videos and hopefully you can find all of the secret heart containers and stuff. I'll have a different video for all that stuff. Um, but you can see right here, this, oh, I, it's not the end yet. I, I, I'm mistaken. I gotta keep falling down. Um, I used the chest to kill that guy, otherwise I could have gone up above. Uh, if you do go up above, there are a couple of things right here that you can really get some movies. Uh, there was actually one more there. I just ended up missing it. But, uh, but now I hit a million dollars, so Scrooge is going to be happy. And I just jump across here. This part can be a little bit tricky uh, because you can get knocked off. And if you knock, get knocked off the edge, you automatically die. So you just got to make sure you time it right. Make sure your pogo sticks down and just jump off the bad dudes. Uh, the top right there, there's a couple uh, extras. And so I'm going to fall down. I thought I was at the end, but definitely not even close. Um, oh, yeah. So you could fall back down, but if you want to collect more money stuff, you can work your way across over here. And there's just a couple more little gem things right here. Every little gem counts if you're Scrooge McDuck, so... Uh, and then... I'm gonna fall down here. I always do this. You definitely want to take the, the rope or whatever, because I end up just hitting myself. Uh, now Pogo on those guys, and then you can see right here, there's a couple more little gems. Fall back down, and then there's... Oh yeah, I did this wrong right here. You don't want to do that, because now you can't get it. So you actually... Uh, this is a screen scrolling part that I was mentioning earlier. If you scroll up and then scroll back down, then the bricks are back down there, then you can go ahead and get your, uh, your goodies. But uh, just some notes to those wondering about that. Now I'm going to jump across this guy. I try to, and unfortunately there's darn plants, man. I wish I could uh, kill those guys, but I probably could have used those uh, those other things to my advantage, but I didn't. 
plan it appropriately and I ended up uh, uh, failing on that. I ended up hitting the wrong thing and ended up getting cake right there. But uh, but I like how the little snail guys are like revamped with the little googly eyes. It's kind of funny. And I think there was another. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, there is. I thought there was another one up above, but maybe I missed it. And I'm just gonna knock on that guy. These guys are kind of difficult. They you, you run past them and then they fall down and then you can stomp on, stomp on top of them. But I always seem to get hit by them. Luckily, I have extra life. If you're having a hard time with uh, a specific level, I just recommend you you going and try to find the easiest level. And I can't say at this point which is the easiest level out of all of them because um, I haven't beat all of them but honestly I think this is one of the easier levels the thing is is once you get to the boss I mean you really have to be able to beat the boss and sometimes that can be really difficult so I guess keep that in mind but this boss is pretty easy he just rolls around I don't recommend using the pogo after you hit him you just jump over top of him as he spins because if you use the pogo he can actually hit you at the very top of the screen then I thought right there he was gonna hit me and he jumps to the backdrop now he does one of two different things. He does this one where the balls are rolling and you definitely can pogo off of those balls. Just be careful. And then you can see right there I ended up hitting him again. Now he's going to start his rolling thing. And you can see right there he did hit me when I was using my pogo. So I, I was like, oh, I better not do that. And he just spins around, goes in the backdrop. Now this is the other one. Don't use your pogo on this one. And you just got to move left to right and uh, avoid the falling boulders because they will land on you. And there's four of them or so. And then you can just go ahead and pogo him again here. That was my third hit, and you can see right here, just jumping over top of him over and over again. And then he stops, jumps in the backdrop, and then brings out the spinning balls again right here, so you got to get your pogo ready and uh, run over these guys. Now, if you don't hit him like right there, he ended up, they ended up hitting me, so just to know. That was my fourth hit, so I believe it takes five hits to kill this guy, and I got hit again, unfortunately, by that by that rolling ball. Um, and then I believe it's the other one, so it goes back to the one with the falling rocks. And uh, just gotta be careful, there's four, five, six, I thought there was seven. So I thought there was four, but as you advance on, there's definitely more. And I finally hit him right there and got the fifth hit and killed that uh, giant boss guy. So that's pretty much it for that guy. Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one, though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terraformians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes. The giant diamond of the inner earth. Anyways, I just want to let you listen to that little cutscene um, a little bit. And stage clear, ended up beating this level. And again, this was the African Mine. So if you guys uh, want to see the rest of the maps again, click the playlist in the description. I'll have the rest of them. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. We'll catch you guys later. You mean there weren't any goats down there after all? That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with a giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? <laughs>